What's up, you guys? So I'm here with a new video today. Here to talk to you guys about the new errata text change that is going to take place uh, to one of my absolute all-time favorite cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is Necro Valley, you guys. Uh, I saw a link on Facebook yesterday talking about a new text change for Necro Valley. So if you go to Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization.com, I'll have the link down below. It's where you get all your OCG news. OC it's one of the best websites, you guys. It can, uh, you know, if you guys don't already know, it's where you can keep up with the OCG. You can learn new deck ideas before they come here to the states and it's just great but <coughs> here we are going to talk about the text change for necro valley so here we, as you see it says the previously forbidden cards aren't the only ones with updated text in in 20 ap which is the 20th anniversary uh anniversary pack up to this point in the ocg necro valley has worked in essentially the same way as a tcg version is currently written although players are familiar with this history might remember that it took more than a few tries for the tcg to get, get it right as a reminder here's what it used to say all gra gravekeeper monsters gave 500 attack and defense cards and either player's graveyard cannot be banished negate any effect that would move a card in the graveyard other than itself to a different place so that was just like the summarized text that uh necro valley used to say necro valley is a really powerful card i myself use it in my clee demise deck and in any demise deck that i played like your senjus or whatnot because it really had a strong effect in uh last year's nationals in the meta um, this year's Nationals, being able to stop Burning Abyss effects, being able to stop Monarchs, being able to stop Cosmo, it was just an incredible card. Now it's just gotten more powerful because uh, as we read on, it says, however, in the new 20th anniversary pack printing, the card states something closer to negate any card effect that applies to cards in the graveyard, which is effectively omitting the other than itself part. That's crazy, you guys. It's saying any effect that applies to cards in the graveyard. The definition of applies to the graveyard is still uh, is still in the same. It means moving cards to a different place. So now, if we, as we read on, it says the result is that Necro Valley becomes a much stronger floodgate because it will negate effects of cards that that do take themselves out of the graveyard that is previously allowed. Perfect example: Paleozoic graveyard effects. Glow up bulb, sinister serpent, my poor graph of the dark world, metaphose fusion second effect to shuffle back, Madolce monsters, common effects, and so forth. So you can't even shuffle back your Madolces. That's crazy. More in depth individual rulings will follow when I get around to posting. Yada yada yada. It is currently unknown if and when the change will occur in the TCG as with other updated cards. Anyways, it hasn't come to the TCG yet. They're still working on it in the OCG, but it's the fact that we have the potential for Necro Valley to become an absolutely incredible floodgate. I always felt the card was a great floodgate. It was always just a great anti-meta card. But now, with this new effect, not only is it going to be powerful like it once was, it's going to be even better because it's going to stop Paleozoics. It's going to stop Metaphose Fusion. It sucks that it stops Grappa, but it stops anything that applies to the graveyard. That is just incredible, you guys. I think that's absolutely amazing. So, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. I just wanted to make a quick video about it. I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. Discuss it. What do you guys think? If this becomes our new Necro Valley, how do you feel it will affect the meta? What decks do you think will impact besides Paleozoics and other decks? Do you feel it will have an effect on uh, Zodiac Beasts? I don't really know anything about those cards yet. I'm researching it, but do you guys think it will affect them? Do you think it will help them? Do you think it will be a staple in side decks? Do you think it will be a main deck worthy card? Do you feel that the card won't get any attention? Do you feel that the effect is good but not good enough to be played in this meta? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Be sure to follow me on all my social media. It's down in the description and on the outro. I hope you guys enjoyed the outro. Shout out to my brother Gage. We did it, man. We're getting our cards stronger. Necro Valley is getting stronger than ever. So. I can't wait, and I can't wait to see how this will affect Gravekeepers in general as well as other anti-meta strategies. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.